There it is. Woo! Welcome back to the lab. Today we're going to be making our very own magnetic fluid, which is called ferro fluid, using different types of household items. This black powdery material is called magnetite. So this stuff is super messy, but here's the really cool part. These here are like very, very uh, weak magnets. So if I put it on there, you might be able to see the powder readjusts itself. So just in case, all right, all messy, come here. There goes the magnetic properties of the powder, which is pretty awesome. I have a stronger magnet here. You can really see it work. Woo, look at that. Just to see how strong this magnet is, I'm trying to pour it. Look at that. I'm literally 90 degrees right now. Let me get a little risky. It's really cool. We want to turn this powder into a fluid. So instead of it being chunky like this, we can actually see fluidity. So we have two oils, one vegetable oil, the other one motor oil. Motor oil is supposed to work pretty well. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do it. Um, vegetable oil is supposed to work as well, but you know, we're gonna see, we're gonna play around with it and see what works. We're gonna pour a little bit of each fluid in their respective containers, but we're gonna be doing this very sparingly, right? So the idea is that these two fluids, right, they're viscous. Viscosity is a measurement of the fluid resisting motion. So we don't want the powder to resist too much motion, therefore the fluid would be too heavy for our magnets to work. Now we have a good consistency. Looks like printer ink, as you guys can see. Let's see if it works. So you can see it is, it's following the magnet. Well, looks like we had some nails somewhere. I don't know where that came from. It's got a little soup going on in there. You don't really see the magnetic field lines, I should say. Just all. All there. Let's just try three tablespoons or spoons. So we have a marshmallow in here. We're gonna to try to pull it with our big magnet. I don't know if you see, but it's, I feel like the marshmallow is moving. That's pretty awesome. Not strong enough to pull the whole marshmallow out, but it is enough to slide it. You can see we're collecting all of our ferro fluid on top of our magnet. So let's recap what happened. We use one sample with vegetable oil, the other one we use with our motor oil, and we test to see which of our fluids works perfectly to make a ferro fluid with our toner. It was collecting all of our toner from the vegetable oil, and what's left over is the vegetable oil, which I think was pretty amazing, look at that. So it's separating. That's correct. That's really cool. Yeah. Trying to get this magnet clean, and now all of that magnetite that was inside of our vegetable oil is now clumped up look at that I have like magnetic putty now look at that it's pretty cool thanks guys so much for watching if you like what you saw please like and subscribe i know this was a little different we're doing more scientific inquiry type of videos uh but if you like this you want to see more of it comment below with your ideas and we'll check you out soon take care